Hey, you guys are watching the OK Good Review channel. Fire! 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 Okay guys, and as you can see today we have from the Hunt for the Decepticons Deluxe Class Hailstorm, guys. Like Axer before him, he was not actually in the movie. And this is a subline for Revenge of the Fallen. So here's the missiles. And you can see you can split this if you want. Have it over either shoulder. Or put it out here, if you are so inclined. I don't ever do any of those things usually. With this guy, Leo occasionally does. With this guy, usually we will do this. We'll set him up. Flip this back into, into the cage here. And then close up the cage door. Like so. So guys, here he is in robot mood, and cucking his head a little bit to the side there, guys. I like the detail. I like the missile launchers on his shoulder, even independent of this large one. I like this tank tread thing for his biceps. I think that's really cool. I think there's a really good amount of detail on this guy. He's He is short, guys, so you can see he's not stand, stand super tall. There he is right there. In fact, guys, he is definitely one of the shorter deluxe class. And if you look, his arm extends almost all the way down to the bottom of his leg, which is, I guess, kind of odd. But not the end of the world there, guys, by any means. So, uh, decent, decent amount of articulation here, guys. See, he can kick a boo himself in the bum bum if he wants to. He's got decent articulation here. His hands are molded really oddly, though, guys. So you can't really, he can't hold things, you know, and it, these don't move. So it's not like he can grip things either. This is a really odd design for his hands. I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, from the back, it's just a big backpack. Looks like he's going hiking somewhere. The side, and so so. So, uh, this is an interesting find, guys. We came across this, I guess, obviously, in a clock tool shop because you guys can see him missing half the missiles. But I think he's... I like this guy. I don't know what it is. I, lo I love the space sculpt, guys. The space sculpt, I think, is fantastic. I really, really dig that. I don't know, guys. As far as this goes, I don't see any Decepticon symbology on him anywhere guys but I think I think this is a really cool figure guys I like it quite a lot definitely definitely like it so guys to transform him into vehicle mood I've already started doing it well we we do this this little number here which will give us something for that to plug into later so to do this we start with trying to move his torso here guys so um, you can see it's got a double hinge here. So guys, we'll move this to the back like so. And then from there, but basically this, this extends and it hides his head. All right guys, so you have to be a little bit careful when you pull on that part, but basically you guys can see what, what happens here. This extends out like so, which is what you need for, oops, for the, uh, for the tank treads guys. So. And then his head, if I can get it to hold on to the post here, guys. You can see it's one of these slide jobbies. All right, guys. So anyway, there we tuck his head in there like so. And that is good to go. Okay, guys. So we move this out of the way and basically just pull his chest down, guys, is, is how you get these. These are super stiff, though, right now. So, yeah, we're fighting that a little bit. His arms... 
I like to just do do this number here. Just put them inside like so, which we will need at a at a future point here, guys. Not right this second. Missile launcher. We have backwards, but for now we're going to leave it. So you can see here, there is some insignia. There is his Decepticon shield, guys. So this, and you can kind of see how this will go together momentarily here. So we just drop this. You can see we're making the front of the vehicle at this point. And this is um, not what I would call a super design, guys, to be honest with you. Now we will spin this around. And for the tank treads, we just take these in half. And they slide together. Okay, so you just push the second half uh, into the first half like so. Okay. And then this back half, these will go straight. And you can see there's a little notch port right there that uh, this needs to go into. So sort that out and now here's the sort of annoying part is that these the fists underneath tend to get in the way a lot okay guys so this is what the finished version looks like and um i had to do some of this off camera guys because there's see the, the all this stuff has to line up so you can see there's a point here a point here a point here a point here all of it guys has to line up to itself or you won't be able to transform this. This one, you just match the thumbs on the inside. And from there, with this being an older figure, it just takes a little bit to, to kind of massage it out. I wish these, these middle parts tucked together. They do not. Uh, so this one, you just have to kind of get the, the hinges and then just remember to line up all the panels so that they're all going together exactly correctly. And then from there, you have not a bad little missile launcher, guys. See, it rolls pretty well. It's uh, it, it looks good. I mean, it. it I, I'm a little frustrated by the transformation, guys, but that might be this figure. Uh, it is an older figure, guys, and it's not. It's not hugely intuitive either, guys. Uh, and so some of these parts are just are sort of just held together almost. You can, there's nothing. And you can see there's nothing that clips any of this together. So you just kind of have it just floating there and then hope for the best. Which is um, not an ideal way, honestly, guys, of doing anything. There are some taillight possibilities here, guys, for paint apps. Uh, color's good. It's a nice green military color. Got a little bit of camo on it. Yeah, I got... I have no problem with this thing, guys, overall. I just wish... I mean, I wish the transformation was a little bit easier... But I, I like it. I like it in both modes, guys. I think this is a good vehicle. If you see it somewhere, I mean, the tires are just these little things underneath. But if you see this somewhere, guys, this is definitely well worth picking up. I think we got this for like five or six bucks, guys. And I like it. I mean, it, 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 it's a good thing. I don't like this part here. Uh, and I probably actually almost would consider fusing this in vehicle mode just because I like the, you know, I, I like the look of this. It's pretty unique like that. However, guys, it is awesome in robot mode, although the guy is a little bit short, and that weird thing with his hands, guys, I, I don't know, that's kind of funky. If you have other missiles, I know there are a number of them, like in Prime Bumblebee has a number of these as well. It's just this sort of system that just notches in there. Um, it These seem to be okay. It's a good way to lose them, obviously, but I, I have no problem with any of this. It's, it's a little bit like a Kachusha Orchestra, guys, if you know what one of those is. But yeah, it's good Good looking in vehicle mode, and I think we're going to leave it actually in vehicle mode here as well, guys. But Anyway, definitely, guys, these have not been out for a while. They were part of the Hunt for the Decepticons subline, guys, from Revenge of the Fallen. So I think they're probably about eight years old at this point, guys. But very, very, very cool sort of things, guys, to have around. And I, I dig it, guys. I don't like the transformation. I think it's a little awkward. But... Once you finally get done kind of messing around, guys, the finished result is definitely pretty good. Well, maybe not even pretty good. It's not great, guys, to be honest with you, because this is annoying. But this could be a, a symptom of the wear, too. But it, it's unique, guys. I like it. Don't see a lot of these floating around out there, guys. It's a pretty decent look. Anyway, buy six bucks. You know, well, well worth having, guys. 
So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed our look at Hunt for the Decepticons Hailstorm Guys from the subline guys of Revenge of the Fallen. If you did, guys, please give us the old thumbs up. Guys, hit that red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. Blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest greatest videos as they become available, guys. Or simply follow us on our Twitter feed where updates to the channel are made in live and direct time, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know which of the movies was your favorite. If you have any of this subline, none of these guys appeared in the movies, guys, which is kind of a shame. But let us know. I like this subline a lot. The Hunt for the Decepticons, guys, I think has a lot of really cool and somewhat unique vehicles in it. I dig it, guys. I, uh, I, I don't know why they didn't do it with any of the other movies. I guess maybe that was the last one that, that Hasbro felt was performing adequately for something like that. I, I have no idea. But, guys, I, w I wish they would have done some more of those because I think this is a really cool concept, guys. I dig it a lot. But, guys, let us know. What of the movies was your favorite? Which of the movie toy lines was your favorite, guys? And if you have any of these or have plans to get them. Like I said, keep your eyes open, guys. Collectible shops. You can pick up some great values for not a bunch of money, guys. And if you can live with not having half the missiles, which we can, you can really get some cool stuff, guys, for not a lot of money. Anyway, though, let's go do a press this time, guys. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.